players who became for, who were former players who became coaches did with no the, NBA did, did experience. Did he have an assistant job? He did not, and I don't. I'm starting to second guess the list that ESPN had. <laughs> I although I do think he might have been another summer league first guy, and I don't know if they're counting that. Yeah, you might be right, but I well, if they count it for Steve Kerr, then the the you know maybe they have count it for Steve Nash. I'll look. I, I got his Wikipedia up here. Yeah, he coached the Nets and only the Nets. Yeah, that and went they, that, that went well. He had not been an assistant. I know that, and he certainly hadn't been a head coach. But maybe he did coach their summer league team, and that's the only I can think of. Uh, in an interview with Charles Robinson of Yahoo Sports, Tom Brady. Do you remember Tom Brady? I do. Dude, I think he's more like he's more out there now than when he was playing. Yeah, he's been doing a lot since retirement. And while he is a beautiful man, I'm telling you, you give it another 10 years, he's in the Dana Carvey, Katie Lane category. Yeah, oh, I yeah. agree. He is on a fast track to be a middle-aged lesbian. Well, hopefully... You know, whoever he dates next, and yeah. or maybe even marries or whatever, mm -hmm. keeps him on the straight and narrow in that regard. I hope so. Because that he's getting that aggressive, middle-aged, uh, like, Karen haircut. You know, it looks fine now, but when he's, like, 58, that thing may be rough. He said that quarterbacking in the NFL has gone backwards over the years. Okay. And there aren't nearly as many quarterbacks who boast total control of their offenses as there were in his heyday. Yeah, I agree with that. He says, quote, I think the quarterbacking has gone backwards a little bit in the NFL. I don't think it's improved. I don't think the teaching has improved. I think maybe the physical fundamentals might be a little bit improved because there's better information out there for quarterbacks to study on mechanics. But I don't think quarterbacks really are really field generals right now like they used to be. It's a broad statement, certainly, but I had total control. I had all the tools I needed. I was coached that way. I was developed to have the tools that I needed to go onto the field so that whenever something came up, I had the right play, the right formation, the right audible, the right check at the line to ultimately take control of the 11 guys on offense and get us in a good, positive play. Yes, I couldn't agree more. So I he's think... talking about, like, the guys that they dumb it down for? Yes. You know? Well, and not like even rookies. just not just dumb it down, but in general, um, the new wave of very bright minds. And I, I call this the anti-Mike Martz. Mike Martz, uh, to me, is the poster child for... Mike Martz has forgotten more about football than 90% of all NFL coaches will ever know. The problem with Mike Martz is he ran such a giant cluster F of an offense, it was just hard for people to, to grasp it. And he wouldn't dumb it down. It's like, you will learn this. And when it clicked, it was amazing. But not everyone is Kurt Warner, not everyone is Torrey Holt. It was hard for people. And this next wave of guys, the Sean McVeighs, the Matt LaFleurs, um, who else? The Kyle Shanahan's. They run very team friendly systems and they ask their quarterback to play within the confines of the system. Brock Purdy is really good. Brock Purdy does not have full control of that offense. Brock Purdy will do what Kyle Shanahan wants him to do. When someone isn't doing what Sean McVay wants them to, wants him to do, he will be run out of town. And the Peyton Mannings and the Tom Brady's, the Drew Breeses, they had way more autonomy, way more control, and they didn't play, have to play in the confines of a very structured, rigorous but system. Didn't Bra but Brady kind of did, though. Belichick's like that's the definition of Belichick. I just feel like I feel like elite people. It's easy for elite people at their profession to say this, right? Sure. Like, like nobody. He's basically saying nobody's as good as me. Well, you're special. Yes. You know, I mean, if he's saying. I don't know. I, I I get what you're saying, and I think, you know, look, I trust what Tom Brady is saying is right. He's a, I mean, he's, he's the best to ever do it. Yes. So I, his opinion on quarterbacking, I take that seriously. Yeah. At the same time, I think that some of this falls into the category of I was great, yeah. and I don't really understand why every, what, but, why not everyone else is. Again, I, I'll push back on that and say that the, the, the evolution of RPOs, um, the evolution of more college schemes coming into the NFL, um, ath athletes uh, becoming more of a, like, we want more athletic quarterbacks coming into the league. We're embracing that. We're letting them do that. And that's been going on for a long time. But we're, we're bringing some of those guys in and we're not asking them to truly become NFL quarterbacks. Um, in fact, you have franchise guys that aren't, 
really full blown, uh, complete NFL quarterbacks. And I think when you look back, uh, at, 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 let's go back 15 years ago, I would say that even the guys, like if, if you took, let's say, take the elite guys out, right? Let's take the top six or seven out. I'm guessing that in Tom Brady's mind, seven through 12 or seven through 15 were more complete quarterbacks in his day than what we're finding now where they're probably more structured or athlete guys making yeah. plays with their legs. Well, that's probably true, but I think, you know, some of it is, you know, there are so few elite guys yeah. at that position that you have to get, I think the league kind of wisened up and said, Hey, we've got to get our quarterback. We, we've got to make the best of what we have with our quarterback. Sure. Because he's not elite. We think he maybe could be elite, mm -hmm. but most of them aren't. Yeah. So, they just do the best they can with what they have. And I think they do that better now than ever in, in a myriad of ways. Yes. One, I'm not disagreeing with that. Physical attributes of some of these quarterbacks. Two, you just what they're asking them to do, dumbing it down, things like that. He said, another quote, he said, coaches are trying to go in and develop a program and develop people, but they don't have the time because of the pressure from social media and the pressure from media to get it fixed right away. Yeah. So now they're saying, all right, rather than draft a quarterback and say, I want to develop you, they're saying, we're going to draft a quarterback and ask the quarterback, what do you do well? We just got to do that so I can try to win some games so I don't get fired. Yes. That, he's right about that. Um, like, it, it, when you look but at... But hasn't that always been the case in a sense that there's just aren't that many elite guys. That's yeah, it's the toughest position in sports to play. I I just know that I remember when when the Chip Kelly stuff started coming in, I came from a very pro style background, right? And once I got to college and then in my brief two stints in the NFL with Shanahan and with John Gruden, those were <laughs> those were very uh, you know, we had, I had Gary Kubiak as our offensive coordinator and, and John Gruden and, and Jay Gruden were the offensive coordinators, very bright guys. And there was a lot <laughs> asked upon the quarterback. And there are still guys that are that are asked a, a, a lot. But I, I think what Brady's talking about is is very true that when you bring a quarterback in now that isn't prepared from college because he doesn't run a call, he doesn't run an NFL scheme at all. And then we're, we're not allowed to sit him for a year or two that you are kind of getting thrown to the wolves. And yes, to your point, I think both things can be true. Teams have gotten smarter and saying it doesn't do any good to Mike Martz this and throw a, a thousand pages at this kid. We're going to look at what you do well. You do half field reads. Look, Anthony Richardson might be running the most basic offense in the history of the NFL, but they're determined to run it out there with Anthony Richardson. There's a lot of guys like this. And then as they grow, hopefully you take some of the training wheels off and you can see their game grow and develop. I thought they did a great job with this with Russell Wilson back in the day. They did this with Ben Roethlisberger back in the day. But I think to Brady's point, both of those guys, as they went on in their careers, especially Roethlisberger's, really blossomed into total control QBs. And I'm not certain how many total control QBs we have right now. And I'll bet you, let me look up the QBR. Uh, what do you want to go? QBR or like what? What? what's the stat quarterback rating for, for last year? I like QBR. You know, you know, I don't okay. mind it. QBR right. is the ESPN stat out of 100. And then obviously there's passer rating, which is out of like 158. Oh, I like passer rating. Right, that QBR is hard to understand. Yeah, it's weird. And, and that does incorporate more of like legs and whatnot. So let's just go with the, uh, let's go with the, uh, the QB, the QB rating. You mean passer rating? Yeah, passer rating. So we, we'll look at it. Brock Purdy, number one, definitely does not have total control. Dak Prescott does not have total control. Cousins, I would say, does. Stroud is a rookie. Tough to say on that. I'm going to say no because they run so much play action. Uh, Lamar, no. Goff, yes. You're saying total control? Total control. Goff probably does. Two in Miami, definitely not. They, uh, they just said the other day that uh, Lamar is going to get more control. So, well, I mean, there's announced. one. Uh, to, to, to Russ in Denver, certainly not. Derek Carr, maybe so, in New Orleans. So I'm just saying, that's your top ten. You got like two of them that would have, and those are your top ten guys. Well, I think that says everything. I, that's why I kind of, that, maybe it's just semantics on how it's being said, but... To me, quarterbacking has evolved, not gone backwards, because of what you just read. You just read eight of the ten, top ten in passer rating. Are very structured. Are very, yeah, are, are the exact guy that Tom Brady is saying <laughs> yeah. is bringing the game, the position backwards. Well, is it backwards or is it just wiser to do that with a guy who doesn't have the skill set 
or the brain of Tom Brady. Sure. So has quarterbacking really gone backwards, or is it just evolving into something different than the way he played? And that's the way I see it. Is it just as yeah. it's, it's evolved? The, old guys do this all the time. I'm sure I do it about a million things. But we have a really hard time accepting the evolution of something we did really well, mm -hmm. you know, because it's different. Yeah. And we don't understand it. And we think the way we did it is better. And it's easier today, too. And that's what he sounds like to yeah. me. Because, but I, but I do get what he's saying in that. Not everybody is Tom freaking Brady, so you have to do something to keep him on the field yeah. and win football games. And to be fair, if we if we went down that list and and you know because like Mahomes is 14th, but clearly he has control. Josh Allen has control. Justin Herbert has control. Burrow before he was hurt. So there are those guys. But it is interesting to your point that you know a lot of these guys that are having nice years, very much it's it play in a very very well. Maybe total control is a bad idea. It is if you can't handle it, which is why I... Well, again, I, I, the the guys who do handle it are the elite guys. Yeah. That's why Brady's like, yeah, I was great at it. I don't understand why everybody can't do it. And this throws and this throws into the whole other thing the of, Tom Brady. should you pay someone that plays in this confine and does it well, should you pay them $54 million when... Uh, can mm -hmm. we find other guys that, that are talented that can well, give me a similar, uh, you know, uh, uh, performance by playing in this? And when you look at, at young quarterbacks that have been successful, you look at C.J. Stroud, you look at Jordan Love, certainly Brock Purdy, uh, and this is something I've been screaming about for the last, like, three years, and I don't know why more bad teams, this is why maybe they're bad teams, if you have a young quarterback that isn't Pat Mahomes, that isn't just this generational, oh, my God, put him under center, run play action, have him throw on time over the middle. It is the it is a re what you're talking about is true. That is a recipe for success. Putting a young quarterback back in the gun and having him be Tom Brady or Peyton Manning is a recipe for disaster. Then as they move on, yes, maybe they can get to that point. Ben Roethlisberger. But the, that is that is the the one thing I will 100% agree with you that teams have the good ones have gotten smart saying we are not going to expose our guy to standing in the gun in obvious passing situations. We're going to protect him, and they're having a lot of success doing that. Tua is an okay quarterback. Brock Purdy is a fine quarterback, and both of those guys had phenomenal seasons last year Well, playing that. I think, to you know, to put a feather in Brady's cap on this, how many of those guys have won a Super Bowl, though? Yeah. And that's really the ultimate goal. Yes. I mean, can you really win a Super Bowl doing that? I guess, you, you know, he's right in that coaches need to save their jobs and win as many games as possible. It's not always about winning a title, but, I mean, that's the main goal. So can you win a title with a Dak Prescott? I don't know. I mean, there's not that many in the no. course of history that there, there that were like that. I mean, there there have been guys that have. But a, lot, but a lot of times it's with elite defenses yeah, that's or, right. you know, like Brad Johnson won. Well, but... like somebody on the Vancouver Ford text line said, would you rather... Let's see, where is it? Uh, he said, might be true what Brady is saying, but would you like your chances of winning more with Matt Hasselbeck, who has a full mastery of the system, or Russell Wilson, who relies on backyard football and had some special, something special for a time? Yeah, I mean, it's... That's a good point. Yeah. You know, I, I think the... And if you wanted to make that point even, even greater, let's go with, I think, Lamar or, like, Cam Newton would be an interesting one because they both won MVPs and were phenomenal quarterbacks. Cam Newton does not get credit enough. Cam Newton was an absolute beast. Cam Newton was not a complete quarterback. Lamar Jackson is not a complete quarterback. Lamar's won two MVPs and is a phenomenal talent. So all things being equal, would you rather have Lamar Jackson or would you rather have, oh, let's go with, you know, let's let's take a Matthew Stafford. Or, or a golf. Or a golf. You know, it's... There's a, that's more well, Stafford's of, won a Super Bowl. Stafford won a Super Bowl. I'll take Stafford over Jackson for that reason. It's starting to feel like there's been a shift, though, in that both at the pro and college level, all organizations are more comfortable letting the coach have a system that is going to be safer for the player to make fewer mistakes, and that running that and avoiding those big mistakes rather than let your athlete go out there and be a ball player is less and less popular. Yeah, yeah. well, sure. I think that's what he's saying. But I think that that to me that's just the position evolving. Like coaches getting smarter about how to coach a guy who is not elite or is, or you're, you think maybe elite but isn't there yet. Yeah. They they want to get these rookie quarterbacks on the field fast. Yeah. 
and you don't you don't just like Brady's no. quote of like sitting there and build that doesn't <laughs> exist. Doesn't no. It There's is, too much money, yes. too much pressure. Yeah. It's antiquated, and that's kind of what he's saying. It's yeah. just I don't know. What does he want? He I mean, he basically wants them all to be <laughs> like him. Yeah, and it's not. And it's just not. Be ready like me as a rookie. Yeah. yeah. And it would be malpractice to take some of these. It would be malpractice to take Anthony Richardson and put him in a pro style. <laughs> offense and be like we're putting you in the gun read defenses pre-snap you're in charge of calling protection go malpractice well, well look at jj mccarthy he's a top 10 top 10 draft pick and he's a guy that had the handcuffs on him in michigan's offense Sit you're your, not gonna throw him to the wolves Sit your, and it'll be interesting to see what harbaugh does because he's got a ferrari he absolutely has a ferrari as a quarterback but he drafted an old lineman he won't shut up about running the ball are we going to see Justin Herbert three yards in a cloud of dust play action and throw, or do you let the guy with maybe the best arm in football? Who's their OC? Go back and sling it. They brought in uh, was it Greg Roman? I think right. Oh dear, I believe that's right. Lock, cocked, ready to rock. <laughs> oh dear, and you know, Greg and I Ro- like Greg Roman, but that's Gre- run the football central exactly, which is why I'm like, ow. Oh. What what? It'll be very interesting to see what happens with the Chargers and Herbert and Harbaugh, and maybe they'll be better. Yeah. Maybe. Well, Chargers haven't won squat with I mean, him. wouldn't you say Justin Herbert is a good example of a guy who has total command and total control? Like, he's he's a guy that you give you should, yes. the offense. He's, like, he's he, he is a Tom Brady yes. in you, that way. He should be able to have total control of it. Yeah. And we'll see if Harbaugh And yet, here comes it. a coach who's going to dial him back. <laughs> Probably. Isn't that interesting, Probably. Tom? I'll bet you he throws less attempts this yes. year than no. any time before. And less picks, too, No I bet. question. Yeah. And he'll probably be way higher on the passer rating scale. Yeah. Or uh, the passer rating Passer list. rating. It's called evolution of the of the position. Tom. Tom. <laughs> Figure it <laughs> out, Tom. The hell do you know, Tom? Bitch. What? <laughs>